Using tokens, you can add up a second authentication factor that not only looks at what you know, but also looks at what you have. And in our case, it is a one-time password. So let's apply our token to our 40 token mobile app and understand how it works. Coming up. All right, we will not look at the details of how a one-time password is actually created, how the code that you enter to your 48 is created, but let's look at some fundamentals. Well, there's the one-time password, which is the code, the six-digit code that you enter to your 48 once you enter, once you authenticate, and it is based on two parameters. One of them is the system time, which is usually a Unix time, and the other parameter is a secret key that is generated and shared between the server, which is your 48, and your phone, your smartphone. Those two parameters are actually being hashed using HBAC, using a cryptographic hash function. And there are two things that you need to remember. The first one is that the password uh, is actually created in an interval since system time is in seconds and you do not want to enter your password each second. So we actually split the system time to 30 or to 60 seconds. And the second thing is that you need to truncate the hashed string since the hash string can be 30, 40, 100 bits. But so we will actually uh, truncate the hashed value, the hashed value into a six digit. Remember that it is being truncated. All right, so let's start. All right, so let's start. We will move to users and authentication. Let's look at our 40 tokens. Um, we will not look at the way that we purchase and uh, tokens. We will assume that you already have available tokens. Currently, I have two available tokens. So let's move to system administrator. Let's create a new administrator. Let's name him token admin and let's just use it locally create a password all right and we will let him be a professional admin now let's use two-factor authentication the authentication type as you can see is 40 token and in the tokens we will let him use our first token and let's just add up an email address since he will get an email that will include the secret key that can actually be inserted into our 40 token mobile or being scanned using a barcode that is the secret key that the server our 48 and the owner of the phone actually knows so the uh, email address will be 48 guru dot uh, at gmail.com let's just enter it and let's press ok let's enter it all right so the activation code is being sent let's just move to my email all right, and there it is. Now, as you can see, we have the secret key. That's the secret key that you can actually enter manually, or you have the barcode, the QR code that you can scan using your 40 token mobile. So I'll use the um, 40 token mobile QR code. Let's just open up in my smartphone. I will scan the barcode and once I do so you can hear the beep I'm getting a one-time password which is initiated automatically so let's just move back again to my 40 gate all right now let's log out and let's um, use our second admin with its password and let's log in now it asks me for my token i will open up my 40 token app
Now, a very important thing that you will need to remember is that you have to set up your SMTP server. Now, I'm using my Gmail setting, which is smtp.gmail.com with my a username and my password so don't forget to set up your email settings so you can get your secret key and activation setup instructions to your email now there are some diagnose commands for the for you token which you can use uh, one of them is the diag 40 token let's just move between the options and here you can see uh, information on the available amount of tokens that you have you can test your token you can debug them let's just use DAG 40 token info and you can see that this token is actually already provisioned to my admin my token admin 